This is a very special occasion for these two families. I still remember my own uh, ordination 30 years ago. Of course, I was young, 12 years old. That's supposed to be a joke. I'm not 42, I'm much older. <laughs> I remember that night because it was a very important night uh, for my life and my ministry. And I really want to thank you for coming tonight. I know that some of you are tired and would probably rather be uh, sipping tea at home or sleeping. But, but you are here to support these two young families. I'd like to invite you, if you have your Bibles, to open them to Luke chapter 5. And the title of this, the title of this message is When Jesus is in your boat. They have spent all night fishing. They were professional fishermen. If they were not successful at fishing, no one was successful at fishing. They knew that the only time fish would bite was in the cover of night. But they were starting and they had not caught one little, little fish. Depressed people saw Peter, saw Jesus walking on the beach and decided to give up fishing for that night. Since the brothers Zebedee, John and James were already on the shore. They were washing and mending the nets. Peter slowly pulled to the shore with his boat. But by the time he and his brother Andrew arrived, thousands of people were already on the shore waiting for Jesus. It was amazing to see the hunger all these people had for the words of Jesus. They had never seen this response in Judea. In, uh, in Judea, uh, they were mostly uh, opposed, but in Galilee, they wanted to listen to Jesus. When Jesus saw Peter coming, he got on the boat and asked him to pull away from the shore a little bit. Jesus may have had different plans, but when he saw so many people there, he decided to give him a few words of encouragement. You see, Jesus never leaves us without a blessing. When he finished speaking, he turned to Peter. And he said to him, put out into the deep water uh, and let down your net for a catch. Verse 4. And that's how the greatest day in Peter's life began. 
Ингэж Петрийн амьдралын хамгийн чухал өдөр их хэлсэн юм. But it didn't begin well. Гэхдээ Петрийн энэ одоо амьдралын чухал өдөр нь тийм ч сайнгүй хэлж. Immediately doubt invaded the mind of the disciple. Тэгвэл яг тэр хүмүүс Есүсийн үгийг сонсоод түн толгойд эргэлзэн болчихсон. He thought go fishing again. Би одоо дахиад загаслах гэж юу? Obviously carpenters know very little about fishing. Манад үгүй одоо мужийн хүү загаслах тухай баг юу ч мэдэхгүй. If you can't get a catch in the middle of the night, you won't get a catch during the daytime. Шүмжин загаслах юу ч баригүй хүн өдөр нь юм байх уу? But Peter did not voice his misgivings. Гэх мэдсэн энэ олон эргэлзэн орж ирсэн ч Петр энэгүй эргэлзэндээ бууж өгөв. Which is always a good idea when God asks you to do something. Тэгэхээр бурхан танд ямар ба нэгэн зүйлийг хийгээр тушаах үед he complained but he obeyed. Тэ дуулах уртай хэдийгээр тийм үү? Одоо юу яаж өөр шалтгаан байж урах ч гэсэн шалтаг байж урах ч гэсэн дуулах уртай дах нь хамаагүй. Look at what he said in verse 5. Тэгэхээр тавдуу мэшлэн Петр юу гэж хэлсэн юм бэ? Master we worked hard all night and caught nothing. But I will do as you say and let down the nets. It's in there. Би шүмжин зүдэд зүтэй юу ч баригүй. Гэхдээ хэлснэ тэн Тороо доош болжээ гэв. Peter along with his brother Andrew plus James and John have been with Jesus for about a year and a half now. Тэр яг энэ үед болохоор Петр өөрийнхөө дүү Андреата өөрийнхөө найз Йохан Яаку хоёртой Иесус таамтыг жил орчим болсон байсан юм. Most of that work was done in Judea but they had very little to show for that. Тэгэхээр Тэмбрийн одоо үйлчлэлд ихэнхдээ Юудад байсан хэдийгээр энэ нэг жилийг Иесус таамт өнгөрөөсөн ч тэд ямар нэгэн үрж юм сафтэн they were gone for weeks they were gone for weeks with Jesus gone from their families and work to help their master тэгээ тэд нэр ихэнхдээ өөрсдийнхөө гэр бүлийг оргоод Иесусийг дагаад хэдэн долоо өнгөр явж тав but uh, there was a, a dark spell over Judea uh, the Pharisees and the scribes were too influential on the people гэхдээ яасан бэ юу Иесусийг тийм үү одоо эсрэг фарисейчууд болон тэ одоо хуулийн багш нар хитэгийн хар том нөлөө төрс. Those leaders did not believe Jesus was the Messiah and they did not let anybody else believe that. Тэр нөлөөтэй хуулийн багш нар тэр хүмүүс атомны өдөрдөгч нар Есүс эргэлцжээсэн учраас бусад хүмүүсийг ч гэсэн Есүс итгүүлхийг хүсээгүй. And it was in Judea that the, the greatest of all the prophets was at work. Гэтэл юу 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 даад тийм үү? Бүх хэсүүдчтэй хамгийн агуу нэг нь ажиж байжээ. John the Baptist that preached there for nearly 2 years. Тэр Йоан Баптист юу да бараг 2 жилийн туршид тунхагласан байна. Many hearts were softened to accept the truth that the Messiah was coming in fact that he was already in their midst. Тэгэхээр аль хэдийн тийм үү? Иесус Христ ирж байна те Мессия ирж байна. Бүр таны дунд байна гэдгийг Йоан Баптист тунхагласан байна. But the Jewish leadership uh influence contradicted their work. За тэгтэл юудэн өдөрдөгч нарын нөлөөл түүний одоо үүсдэг зөрчилдөж байсан. It seemed to Peter that Satan was the one who was more in charge than the Messiah was. Тэр Петр дотроо бодсон. Ягаад ч юм түүний хөд болохоор Есүсээс илүү Сатан илүү хүчтэй юм шиг санагдсан. In addition, a few months before they had sent John to a dungeon to rot into 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 be in jail forever. Ягаад нэг ивэл яг хитгийн сарын өмнө энэ явдлаас хитгийн сарын өмнө одоо Йоохан Баптистыг шон төрөд and no one seemed to care. Тэ шон төрсөн байсан. Тэгэхээр хинч түүнийг одоо өгөөхгүй байсан. But it was even worse than that. Гэтэ түүнээс илүү дорзууд болсон. Only recently they had learned that John the Baptist had been executed. Дүнгч сайхан дүнгч түрүүхэн Йоохан Баптистын толгойг одоо авсан байна түүнийг цаазсан байна гэдгийг тэр мэдж авсан. When they heard this story it must have been a shock uh, to all of the disciples. Тэгэд энэ хүн мэдээ сонсоод Есүсийн шамдрын хөд бол үнэхээр том зөвхөд болсон. And based on what we read in the spirit of prophecy Jesus probably let them go home to process this along with family and loved ones. Тэгэхээр энэ том цогт болсон учраас Есүс шанира магадгүй гэртээ хараад одоо энэ зүйлийг ингээд өөрсдөө хүлээж авч тэ одоо нөхцөл байдлаар эвлэгтэн тусалхаар тэднийг явуулсан юм шиг. So come back with me to Peter in the middle of the night trying to fish on his boat. За тэгээд харин тэднийг гэртээ харьцаа хоёр Есүс буцаж ирээд тэднийг тийм үү? 
He was filled with dark, miserable feelings. He thought of their apparent ministry failure in Judea for a year and a half. about the death of John the Baptist, the greatest prophet ever. He thought, he wondered what would happen next to Jesus. He even thought that his fishing skills must be at an end because he's not getting any fish. But Jesus never forgets when we go through darkness. While he was walking on the shore, he was praying about what Peter and the others must be going through. Well, he, while he was speaking to the, the multitudes, he was hoping to show Peter that God never leaves us nor does he forsake us. And so he told Peter to go back in the lake and fish again. Look at verse 6. The Bible simply says that when Peter and Andrew cast their nets, they enclosed a great quantity of fish and their nets began to break. Have you ever seen fishing nets? People from Mongolia don't fish very much, I realize. That's why I asked the question. All fishing nets are made of rope and they tend to be thick. They do not break easily. Unless you, you, you use it for years. Or unless you decide to haul a truck or something. But the Bible says that these nets were breaking. And what the disciples were hauling was not a truck. It was fish. It was hundreds, hundreds of fish jumping, moving, healthy fish surrendering to their inevitable fate. Look at verse 7. So they signaled to their partners in the other boat, that's James and John, for them to come and help them. And they came and filled both of the boats so that they began to sink. So many fish, the nets began to break and the boats began to sink. Peter must have been sweaty from the work and cold at the same time. Michael, he was stunned. He was in shock. He had never seen anything like this in his entire life. He had never seen anything like this in his entire life. This carpenter really knows how to fish, he thought. And so Peter learned 
The first of three lessons that day. Тэгээд Петр тэр өдөр сурсан гурван сурамж авсан гурван сурамж байгаа ихнийхээ сурчээ. Darkness is dispelled with light. Тэгэхээр харанхуйг гэрэл дийлтгий маа гэдгийг сурч авч байна. So overwhelmed was Peter by the kindness and the power of Jesus that he he abhorred his own sinful nature. Тэр Есүсийн хайр болны Есүсийн одоо тэр одоо зүг сэтгэлд тэрээр үндхээр авсан учраас өөрийнхөө тэр муу муухай гэр нүгэлтэй чанараа өнгөр үзсэн. He recognized the huge contrast between Jesus and himself. Тэгэд өөрийгөө Есүс тэ хайцуулж үзээд асар том ялгаа байгааг болж байсан. He said in verse 8, "Go away from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man." Ингээд нэг дөрөв шүү дээ ирсэн байна. Петр эзэн та намаг орхооч би нүгэт хүн гэж байна. You see, it is seen the glory of Jesus that casts all forms of darkness away. Тэгэхээр Есүс Христийн төр яруу алдар, Есүс Христийн хүч хал бүхийл харамхуу зайлуур чадж байгааг нь It is seen his goodness, it is seen his presence, his power, his grace, his glory. It is seen Jesus as he really is that 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 changes the whole world before your eyes. Тэр бурхны аль Есүсийн оршихуу Есүсийн төр ариу чанд ариу чанрыг олж харах нь бидний нүдний юм өдр бүхий л харамхуу гий гүч гэрлүүлж өгч байна. When I catch a glimpse of Jesus in the Bible, I don't want to be like I am. I want to be like him. Би өнсөн. Би бэлсэг Есүсийг олж харахаар Би яг дотроо юу гэж бодог вэ? Би өөр шиг өөр өөр биш. Би яг Есүс шиг болохыг хүсэж байна гэж боддог. Darkness is dispelled with light. Есүсийг олж харах үед гэрэл харамхуу ялан тийм. The more I see the light of Jesus, the Есүсийг гэрлийг харах тусам. The more equipped I will be to overcome darkness. Би харамхуу ялан тийм хүчтэй болдог. It happened to the prophet Daniel. When he saw the Son of God in vision, he said in Daniel 10:8, he says, "No strength was left in him, and his natural color turned into a deathly pallor." The kid, or the old sister, doctor, both knee hair, both knee hook hair. Daniel was too near to the younger church to listen to the terrible words from his son. He realized how much greater God is. and how lowly and sinful he was. Тэгээд бурхны сүрч авлан хараад бурхын ямар агуу болохыг өөрийгөө хичнээн өчүүхэн болохыг тэгээд It happened to the prophet Isaiah when he was a young man and got called into service. Эсвэл зүйл ч Исаия ч гэсэн яг ийм юм болсон. Тэрээр залуу байхад нь бурхан түүнийг үйлчлэл дуудсан байна. When he saw God on his throne he said, "Woe is me for I am undone." Тэгэхээр эсвэл зүйл ч Исаия бурхныг сэмдэндээ залгаж буу хараад Би юу те хөөр хэлэлтэй хүн бэ гэж You do not realize your sinfulness because a friend of yours or because your spouse tells you you're bad. Тэгэхээр таны найц чинь ч юм уу эсвэл таны жил чинь хүч ирээд өөрөө ч та алдаа дутагдлыг хийж өглөө гэдэг та гим буруугаа ойлгох. In fact when that happens we tend to defend ourselves and find excuses. А хэрвээ ийм их үзүүл болох юм бол хин нэг бидний буруу тэр бол бид нар өөрсдийнхөө өмөрч маргалдаж хэрэв багам болт. A true picture of my condition can only be seen when i see jesus and then i take a look at myself тэгэхээр бид нар өөрсдийнхөө зүр сэтгэлийн жинхэнэ бодит байдлыг есүсийг харж байж л есүс энэ төр гэл гээд өөрийгөө харж байж бид нар ойлгох the glory of jesus will remove any darkness whatsoever тэгэхээр есүс христийн гайхамшигтай төр яруу алдар нь бүх төрлийн харамхуйг үргэн зайлуулна. The vision of God will turn the darkness hour in the noon time into noon time into the noon time hour. Тэгэхээр бурхны энэ гайхамшигтай яг бадар түүний сэтгэлд байсан төр харамхуй түмэр харамхуй шүнийг гэгээн цагаан өдөр болгож байна. Is that is why pastors, pastors families and friends it is so absolutely necessary to discover that new light every morning. Тийм учраас паструуд болон пастрын гэр бүлүүд тэ мөн энэ цуж байгаа бүх хүмүүс өдөр болгон бурхны үгийг бурхны төр гэр гээд библиас олж харж байгаа нь чухал юм. This is where we will find light. Энэ бол бидний гэрлийг олж авдаг. We must go to the Bible and read it carefully. Бид нар библиэ нэгэ 
We must meditate over it. We must pray. We must take the time it's necessary to see what God wants to show us in that word. We must seek the goodness and the grace and the power of God in this book. You who are being called of God to serve Him must understand that dark days will come in your life. There will be difficult challenges. Some of them caused by the church, some of them caused by family, some of them caused by circumstances, and a lot of them caused by yourself. But in those days, when that and when everything looks gloomy and there doesn't seem to be any answers and things don't make sense, that is when you must go to console yourself with the glory of Jesus. I'm reading first and second Samuel, the life of Daniel, about David. And David more than once, when he was faced with great challenges, the Bible says he took counsel with God. He took time with God before he did anything else. Jesus, Jesus is never far from the cries of men and women. He knows very well our condition, much before we realize the extent of our condition. Go to the Word and find relief there. Go to the Word and find Him there. He has, made a, he has already made provision for you. Let Him be in the boat with you. And you will witness how he can turn darkness into light. So the first lesson is darkness is dispelled with light. And the second is fitness is obtained with surrender. What do we mean by that? Remember what, Jesus, what else Jesus said to Peter on that day? We find that in verse 10. Do not fear, from now on you will be catching men, he said. The original Greek word for catching is zogreo, which means to catch alive. In other words, you won't catch people, you won't just catch people, you will catch them before it is too late. Now this is something interesting that Jesus said to them. They had just caught hundreds of fish. Enough to keep their families fed and clothed for months, probably. Jesus could have made some mention about family or about resources or about having enough money to survive. But he didn't say anything about that. Instead, he focused on mission, on mission for them, on catching men. You see, even though those four disciples have been with Jesus for about 18 months, they never really decided to follow Jesus full time. 
18 сар хамт байсан мөртлөө хизээч яг шударга хизээч их эс шийдэмгийгээр Есүсийг дахаар шийдээгүй чи risky for them it was too uncertain Есүсийг дагана гэдэг бол хитэрхий эрсдэлтэй хитэрхий одоо бүхэлгүй чи they saw that even their master had nowhere to lay his head тэднэр те бүр өөрсдийнх нь бүр эзэн те өөрсдийнх нь багш толгой хордох орж байгаагүй гэдгийг байхгүй гэдгийг бодож байна. The very one who could make such miracles did not have a bed to his name. How could they how, how would they provide for their families? Тэгтэл хараа ийм гайхамшигтай гайхамшиг хүрж байгаа эзэн өөрөө өөрөөхөө тэр явдаж хэвтээд амарч орохгүй байсан. Тэгэхээр ийм хүний дагаж явах юм бол яаж гэр бүлээ тичих юм бэ? How can they look at their wives when they ask where their next meal would come from for their children? Тэгэхээр хүүхдүүд нь ихнэр нь тийм үү? Одоо дараагийнхаа хоолыг тэгээ хоол хааны нэр тэгээ дараагийнхаа хоолыг асуух үед нь тэд нар яг юу гэж хэлэх вэ? The disciples loved Jesus but they also doubted Jesus. Тэгэхээр шандар нь Есүс хайртай байсан. Гэхдээ Есүс эргэлзэж байж гэв. Does that happen to you? Тэд бас ийм зүйл тохиолддог уу? Do you fear to go all the way with Jesus because you fear you'll have to sacrifice too much and not have enough for yourself? Та Есүстэй хамт бүр эцсээ хүртэл явж гэх юм бол тэ хитэрхий их юм зөвлөстөд хитэрхий их юм алтах гадаг юм шиг танд санагддаг. Pastors in the Adventist Church are not rich people. Тэгэхээр Адвентист сүмийн пасторууд бол тийм баян хурсууд байдаггүй. They make what is called a living wage. That means enough to survive. Тэгэхээр пасторуудын цалин бол ер нь бол за яг уу амь зуухад хангалттай нэг юм л The pastor's salary is usually well below his education. Sometimes a pastor may think of a cousin in business who is living well, or a church member with a better car, or of children from other families that apparently have everything they wish. Заримдаа одоо пасторуудын хард харангууд нь өөрийнх нь нэгдэн дүү тийм үү хамаагүй гоё яаж төрөлтэй тийм өөрөх нэг сүмийн хүчин ч юм уу гоё машин тийм тийм тэгэд өөрсдөө хүүхдүүдийг харангууд өмсөх хүч сунарч байхгүй ийм үе харагддаг. What pastors must remember is that with God all things are possible. Тийм учраас пасторууд нэг зүйлийг санах хэрэгтэй. Бохонтой хамт байхад бүх зүйл боломжтой. Not something. Тийм зарим зүйл боломжтой гэх юм уу? Бүх юм боломжтой. God has ensured our bread and water according to Isaiah. Исаия номон дээр бол хэлсэн байна. Бурхан бидний гэрт тийм үү ус талх we must remember the words of the psalmist when he wrote I have been young and now I am old yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. Psalm 37 verse 35. За энэ дэр хэлсэн байна. За тэгэхээр дуулаад 37 огийн 35 дугаар ашиглал дээр 37 за тэгэхээр энэ дэр хэлсэн байна би залуу байж үзсэн юм би одоо настай болсон гэхдээ энэ удаан хугацаанд би зүгт хүмүүс орох өгсөн тэдний хүүхдүүд талх хүүгээд байж ирэхийг хараагүй гэж давид хаан хэлсэн then god feed elijah with ravens тэр та бүхэн санаж байна бурхан илий яг хэрэгэр хэрэг явуулж тижигээ гүү гэж байна. Did you know that he fed a uh, hundred theology students from the school of the prophets living in a cave for three and a half years? Тэр та бүхэн нөгөө нэг амуд нуугдсан байсан гэж зуугаад их шүзүүлэгчтэй 3.5 жил бурхан тийм одон хүний тижээсний та бүхэн санаж байна. Does it God say but if God in Matthew 6 if God so clothes the grass of the field will he not much more clothe you your little faith do not worry them saying what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what shall we wear for clothing for our heavenly father knows that you need all these things but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you тэр мата цургагийн 30-аас 30 гор өдрийг гисэн байна өнөөдөр амьд байгаа ц маргааш цуухан таягдах хэрийн үлсийг бурхан иймгүй гойдог бол тэр тусма тэр та нарыг илүү хөдлөхгүй гэж юу өчүүхэн итгэлтнүүд энэ тиймээс юу итгэлээ юу уух үлээ эсвэл юу өмсөх үлээ гэж бүс санаа зовд харийнхан энэ бүх зүйлийг чармайн хайдаг билээ 
харин тэмдэглэг эсэх чинь та над энэ бүхэн хэрэгтэй мэддэг юм аа. Гагцхүү эхлээд бүхний хаанч л ба. Зүгт байдлыг хайдаг. Тэгвэл энэ бүхний та над нэм ч өгөх болно гэсэн байна. Lack of resources is often matched with lack of fitness for ministry. Тэгэд их ихтэй хүмүүс өөрсдөө тийм үү их хүмүүс өөрсдөө амьдрал ингэж юм дутагдаад гачигдаад байна гэдэг мэдэх үедээ үйлчлэх хүч чадлаа алдсан. That's why Peter says depart from me I'm a sinful man. Тийм үү чис Петр хэлсэн бэ? Иисус эс та надаа солтооч би нүг их юм гэж хэлсэн. When God was calling me to be a minister of the gospel that was my greatest fear. Тэгэхээр бурхан намаг яг үйлчлэл дуудах үед миний хамгийн том айцуул юм ус. I kept thinking I'm not good enough. I'm not nice enough. I'm not selfless enough. Би өөрийгөө юу гэж бодож байсан бэ гэхээр би тийм сайхан биш штэ. I'm not spiritual. Би тийм сүслэг, би тийм удаа ариун хүн биш штэ гэж өөрийгөө бодож байсан. I have too much of myself. Би хэдэн to be able to work through me. Бурхан над шиг ийм хүнээр яаж ажиллах юм бэ гэж би эргэлзэж байсан. All this was true 36 years ago. Энэ бүхэн 26 жилийн өмнө 36 жилийн өмнө миний хувьд бол үнэн байсан. And all this is true still today. Тэгэд өнөөдөр ч ихсэн энэ миний хувьд бол үнэн хэвээр we're simply not good enough to lead our people in the study of God's word in acts of selflessness or in spiritual development. Тэгэд нэр бурхны хүмүүсийг тийм бурхны үгэн дотор үтгэдэж we're not good enough. Тэр нэг сайн үлгэр шиг үзэгдэх ихэнхдээ бид нар өөрсдөө хангалттай сайн биш байдаг. Pastors are people. Тэр учраас би та бүхэн дэлэ пасторуд бол бас л хүн юм аа. But the pastor that will make the difference is the pastor that remembers that God is good enough. Гэтэл пастор хүний нэг ялгаан юу гэвэл пастор хүн би хангалтгүй ч гэсэн. Бурхан хангалттай гэдгийг мэддэг үнд гол хялгаан байна. God knows that our fitness for ministry comes with our surrender to him. Тэгэхээр тэ пасторуд мэддэг бид нэрийн тийм үү бурхан бурханд тэ үйлчлэх хүч хадлах маань бурханд бууж өгч байж God would have loved to have called to ministry the scribes and the Pharisees in Jerusalem Тэгэхээр бурхан бид нэрийг тийм үү өөрсдийнхөө үйлчлэлт болсон энэ хүн бурхан бас фарисачууд одоо хуулийн багш нарыг Иерусалим тус They were much better educated Тэгэхээр хуулийн багш нар бол фарисачууд They had more talents and gifts илүү боловсралтай илүү чадвартай байсан. But God calls the willing not the able. Тэгсэн чинь бурхан чадвартай хүмүүс юм биш. Харин хүсэж байгаа хүмүүс юм үйлчлэл дуусах. And then he makes the willing able to do what he needs to do. What needs to be done. Ингээд бурхан нөгөө хүсэж байсан үйлчлэлийг хүсэж байсан хүмүүсийг харин шаардлагатай зүйлийг хийх хүч чадалтай болсон. And so Jesus said to Peter you will be catching men. Тэр мөчлөс Есүс Петр тийсэн. Петр чи хүмүүс энэ зах шиг. Not because you can. Чи чадах учраас би чамд ингэж хийж байгаа шиг. Because I can through you. Харин чамаа дамжуулж би чадах учраас ингэж хийж байгаа. I am better than you are in your own profession. Тэгэхээр би бүр тэр зах чинь чиний бүр өөрөө чинь мэрэгжил дээр би чамаас дээр байна шүү дээ. Trust me Jesus said. Тэр мөчлөс Петр чи надад итгэв. I will make you into a fruitful servant. Би чамайг үрж имс дүүр юм зарсч юм болно. And that leads us to the third lesson. Тэгээд иман бидэнд гур төсөл сурамжийг өнөөдөр өгч байна. When Jesus got out of the boat, he watched those four disciples pull the load of fish in. They must have been giddy with joy over that great catch of fish. За тэгээд Есүс ингээд зарнаас болсон, зарнаас бох үед нь өөш хамнан тэр олон цааш одоо загсыг те одоо зарнаса гаргаж байгаа хэрэг. They must have been talking about how they would sell them, what they could buy with the money, what projects they could now accomplish with this great blessing. Тэгээ яг тэр үед бол те тэднэс чанар магадгүй тэр олон загсыг яаж зарах вэ? Ямар их мөнгө болох вэ? Тэр их мөнгө юу хийх тухайгаа хоорондоо магадгүй ам болоос л тэн ярилцж ирсэн. But Jesus had one more lesson to teach. А гэтэл яг энэ үед бол Есүс тэднд зааж өгч In the midst of this jubilation, he stepped up to them, and they became very quiet. Тэгээд тэднийг ийнхүү амбулаатан ярилцж байхад Есүс тэдний өмнө гарч ирэв. And he said to them what we find in Matthew 4 and in Mark 1. Тэгэхээр бид нар яг энэ тухай Матай номын 4-р үлгээс үүсэж байна. Follow me 
And I will make you fishers of men. Jesus said, Namaka, be Tanrik, who was in Tasche or Nogish. And you know what the Bible says? That he the Bible that you would just sneak immediately. Take what he did. They left their nets and followed him. Toro, a hitch, Tony got like some people. This is remarkable. I don't know if you've thought about this. At the moment of their greatest material success, they were asked to abandon their business. Even their family and friends to make a complete commitment to Jesus. For a year and a half, they have followed Jesus sporadically and they had sporadic success. But now Jesus was calling them to follow him all the way. But the call came with an amazing promise. I will make you fishers of men. And so the third lesson. Fruitful ministry. Not mediocre ministry. Fruitful ministry is acquired with obedience. First lesson, darkness is dispelled with light. Second lesson, fitness is obtained with surrender. Third lesson, fruitful ministry is acquired with obedience to Jesus. I have been teaching evangelism for a long time, but only recently I discovered the true secret to successful evangelistic endeavors, and that is follow him. It is only by following Jesus that we become good at leading men and women to him. It makes all the sense in the world. As we follow him, we learn of him, we appreciate him all the more, we know him better, so naturally we want to share this with others. The biggest impediment to evangelistic or soul winning success has nothing to do with lack of resources or lack of manpower or lack of knowledge or lack of new methods or lack of time. All those things really boil down to excuses. The biggest barrier to evangelism is not following Jesus. When Jesus finally ordained 12 of his disciples a few months later, he called them apostles. Why did he invent a new name for them? Why did he, what does an apostle mean? The Greek word apostolos, apostle means one who is sent out. It was an expression used in classical Greek uh, for business. Uh, it was never used in religious uh, language. 
For example, he sent his apostle, that means his representative, his representative. He was the person sent out. And he stood there in the place of the owner. So the primary job description of the pastor and even anyone who follows Jesus is not to care for the saints or to stay comfortably within the walls of the church but to go after others. <coughs> To be sent out to catch fish. Pastors ought to reach people everywhere and they ought to teach their people to do the same. Remember, Jesus could have said many things, but he said, I will make you fishers of men. The same concept is throughout the New Testament. Do you remember what the angel said to the women who came to the tomb of Jesus on Sunday morning? Jesus had already resurrected. And the angel said to them, I know you're looking for Jesus. This is Matthew 28 verses 5 to 7. I know you're looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen. Just as he said. Come, the angel said. See the place where he was lying. Go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead. Come. See the place. Then go and tell. There is this the great formula. The foolproof formula for soul winning. Come and see before you can go and tell. In other words, see for yourself that Jesus really is risen, then go and tell others about it. That's, that's the same concept as follow me and I will make you fishers of men. We must first spend time with Jesus, be with Jesus, talk to Jesus, learn from Jesus. And as we do so, we become able to reach out to others and tell others about Jesus. Show me a man that wins no one to Jesus and I'll show you a man who doesn't know Jesus. On the other hand, show me someone who is in love with Jesus and spends time with Jesus, and I'll show you someone who brings people to Jesus. Lesson one. Darkness is dispelled by light. Lesson two. Fitness is obtained by surrender. Lesson three. Fruitful ministry is acquired by obedience to follow Jesus. 
түүнийг Иесус Христийг тул гуртаар дагч байж ирдэг юм. After that day then those four disciples never looked back. Тэгэхээр энэ өдрөөс хойш Иесусийн дөрвөн шавны хизээч эргэж хараагүй. All they still had some struggles. Мартгүй тэдний амьдралд бол зөндөө орон бэрхшээл тулгарсан. And grew and grew. Гэтэл тэднэр цааш нь өссөр байсан. They became the champions of the early New Testament church. Тэднэр хамгийн анхны шин гэрэн үеийн сүмийн хамгийн анхны ахтгчнар болсон. They died as martyrs because they had grown so close to Jesus that it became a privilege for them to suffer for his sake. Тэднэр Иесус Христийн төлөө амэ алдсан байна. Иесусээс болж тэднэр тэг цог одоо they will be зовох нь уул тэднэр There will be thousands of thousands maybe hundreds of thousands or millions in heaven who will all thanks to these four. Тэгэхээр тэнгэрт дэвачд энэ дөрөв Есүсийн шанарт одоо талархах баялаа гэж хэлэх олон мянган олон сая хүмүүс байх байх. Their stories, their words in the Bible will have inspired many others to be faithful to Jesus. Эн чандрын түүхүүд тэднэрийн библи бичигдсэн тэдгээр үгсэн өөр олон хүмүүсийг Есүсийг дахиад тусалсан. And think it all began with a weary morning when Jesus said to them, "Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men." Тэгээд энэ гайхамшигтай, энэ гайхамшигтай сүмийн түүх тэр өглөө тэр тэр дөрөв шав намайг дагаад би та нарыг хүмүүсийн зарсчин болгоно гэж хэлэх үед ихэлсэн юм аа гэдэг санаарай. Jesus still speaking today. Jesus өнөөдөр ч гэсэн бидэнд үгүй айлдаж байна. And he said to you, to you and to me. Jesus is tent the cup of the nada to follow me. Намаг та. And I will make you fishers of men. Та нарыг чамайг хүмүүсийн зарсч болгоно гэж хэлж байна. Amen.